Hey guys, I'm in the kitchen again and I'm about to share something it is not cooking though. Um, lately, whenever we go down to the mobile home, it's been super duper hot. We all know that. And what I have been drinking is just water. That's it. And you guys know I drink a lot of water anyway. But if you drink too much water, that can wash the electrolytes out of your system. We don't drink Gatorade or Powerade or the body armors anymore for different reasons. They cost a whole lot of money is one of them. Um, which if we needed it because we were sick or something, we'd get it. But the other reason is they have a lot of things in them that we don't know what they are. So I have looked for different electrolyte drinks and I've tried a couple. They're really gross. I never shared them with you because I just don't want to do that because they were gross. But <laughs> anyway, I did find this one and I have not tried it. But I think it might be okay. So it's a homemade Gatorade, but it's strawberry flavor. The thing is, out of, all right, with Gatorade, I only liked lemon lime. With Powerade, I only like lemon lime and strawberry lemonade. Um, and with the body armors, I like the fruit punch and the tropical punch and the blue raspberry. But I didn't really like any of the rest. So I'm, I'm real weird about flavors. Certain things, if they don't taste a certain way, I, I just don't want it. Which a lot of us are. It's not weird or anything. But I want to try and make this one I found. And I will link it down below whether we like it or not. Because see, I may not like it, but you might. I may not like it, but Noah might. You know, that kind of thing. So I'm going to try it. And we're going to see if how it works out. And um, I did need to take something out that I did not take out yet. I think this is going to be big enough to store it in. If it's not, I'll get another one. And I knew these things were right here. That's why I didn't take them out. But I should have. So I wouldn't be making all this horrible noise. Anyway. Alright, so... Now that I've got that stuff out, I'm going to bring y'all down here and I'm going to make this electrolyte drink. And I'm going to try it. We'll see. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. But y'all know I drink a lot of water. Did I say this already? Possibly. Water will wash your electrolytes out. So sometimes you need to put those back in. Because plain water doesn't have them. So, um, and our body needs electrolytes to stay hydrated. And... I don't even know if I've said the reason why that I, that Noah thinks I'm hydrated, dehydrated. I'm doing some of the things that he that happens to him whenever he is having migraines, like the blurry vision and the headache and the nausea and just feeling really bad for days. Like I still have not reco recovered from two days ago whenever we were down there on Wednesday. Today is Friday for me. I know it's not for you, but it is for me. But I've still not recovered completely. I feel very drained. And that's why today, um, I'm not doing a lot. We're not going to the mobile home. We will be going tomorrow, but we're not going today. Even though we could after Jeff gets off work. But we're not going. Um, I'm going to fold clothes. I've already caught up on all the laundry that needs to be washed. I do need to put a load in the dryer. Um, but... I'm just not doing much and thankfully we already have dinner cooked because we grilled it last night and then we're going to just have that grilled chicken over a salad which is delicious and I'm very grateful for that being. That's one reason why we decided to do that. We are going to go as soon as Jeff gets home from work. We're going to Lowe's and to Bucks. We're going to Bucks probably first because we want to go ahead and get some more molding for our bedroom and for uh, the office and the bathroom our bathroom um and we need to get there was something else we need from bucks i can't think of what it was jeff knows i don't remember what it was if i remember before this is over i'll let you know 
but there was some reason why we were going to Bucks to see if they had something they don't have in other places. And while we're at Lowe's, I may go ahead and buy the toilets. That way I don't have to think about it anymore. <laughs> That's the last big purchase is the toilets and the molding. And for you guys who don't know, we are going to be moving into that mobile home. We're not just fixing it to sell it or anything like that. We are moving in there and we're selling this house because of a lot of reasons and um, we do uh, we what was I gonna say my memory is messed up whenever I'm having this situation with this dehydration whatever it is but let me go ahead and get this down here so we can try this electrolyte drink out I don't know if I'm gonna like it because of the strawberry but maybe okay so you do make it in a blender so that's going to be good. You do use freeze-dried strawberries. My issue with this is after these are, oh, they smell so good. After these are opened, they're going to have to be used up because they'll get weird. So half a cup of this. If we like it, I'll go ahead and make up another batch or something. Oh, I thought that had a zippity do on it. It does not. So I'm gonna put these in a Ziploc bag real quick. I did think these had a zipper on them. And what's crazy is when I found this electrolyte drink stuff, I already um, had all the stuff at home to make it. So I was like, oh yeah, I'll do that. All right, half a cup of sugar. I could have closed that drawer. You sit there for now. Somebody needs to fill the sugar jar. I'll do that later. Or I'll get one of the boys too so I don't have to lift that thing. Okay. Sugar, one teaspoon of citric acid. Where's the go? There it is. One teaspoon of citric acid. One half teaspoon teaspoon of table salt. I'm gonna use the pink Himalayan salt. I haven't opened my real salt yet, so I'm not gonna use that. Half a teaspoon of this. This uh, the pink salt has minerals and stuff in it. That might be more than a half. And your body does need salt. Now, mint is optional, but I'm not putting mint in here. So, those things is what you need in there. And then, let's see. It says, process all ingredients in blender until finely ground, about 30 seconds, scraping down size of blender jar if needed. Using a fine mesh strainer, sift mix into large bowl, discard any seeds and remaining fruit pieces. Transfer the storage container with tight fitting lid. I'm not going to put it in two different bowls. I'm putting it in to the bowl that it came from. I mean, that I'm putting it in, that I'm storing it in. I'm not wasting dishes. Um, try, blah, 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 blah. Dry mix can be stored in an airtight container at room temperature for up to two weeks. Break up any clumps before using. To drink, combine eight ounces of water and one rounded tablespoon dry mix in two to four cup beverage container with tight fitting lid seal container and shake vigorously until refresher mix is fully combined fruit powder will not dissolve about 30 seconds serve see that's one thing that bothers me is the fruit it's not going to dissolve and I don't know how that's going to be so it says to process but it doesn't say how so I guess I'm going to do blend that's done it's gonna be a poof Ooh, 
strawberry up your nose. All right, so we're gonna move the machine bottom. How about we unplug it? Let's do that. All right. Take this off. Did I get something in this bowl? No, there's something on the bottom. Glass bowls bother me because I think there's something wrong, but there's not. Why aren't you coming out? Oh, there we go. Oh, I made a mess. The thing I was trying to avoid. Okay, so all that is kind of in there. I should have done better. I should have gotten a different bowl is what I should have done. Nope, that's not working. Maybe this is why it says to use a large bowl. You think this is why? Okay. You know, let's stop wasting because this is all going on here. Let's get another bowl like it said. Maybe the author of the, re the recipe knew what they were talking about after all. I just didn't want to mess up another bowl if I didn't have to. I don't like that some of it's wasted, but that's okay. It smells like a Kool-Aid mix. I'm pretty sure that you could get other dried fruit and try it. Like maybe a blueberry or something. Yes, I'm trying to crush it some more. <laughs> because I don't want to waste all that the, the freeze dried stuff. And I don't want the seeds in it. But, you know. thought that all that sugar would go through there. Maybe not. Okay, we're not going to fight it anymore. We're done. We're done with the fight. Now I'm just going to put it in here. This bowl is a little bigger than I expected it to be for this, but that's all right too. Clean up the mess some, because I don't like the mess. All right, so I'm gonna get a cup, get a four ounce cup, and get some water, or four ounces of water. No, eight ounces of water. Let me just get a cup. Okay, so I got my blender bottle, and I did put ice in it, so that's a little bit more than four ounces. Um, no, eight ounces. Good grief, what is wrong with me? Uh, it said a tablespoon, a rounded tablespoon of the dry mix. So the three of these should be one tablespoon. So there's one, two, and we're gonna leave that one a little bit rounded, three. All right, where did I put my lid? Okay. I rinsed the lid because it was a little dusty. And we're gonna shake this up. I chose the blender bottle because it's got that thing in it to blend. Let me not get this wet. That'd be smart. Put the lid on, lady. Wow, I'm not in it, in it today. Let me get this up here. I don't know what's going on with it. Like, I guess I am a little dehydrated. But, I don't know. I can't seem to think very well today. And it was like this the last time whenever this happened that day what it's looking like but I don't feel like it's mixed enough smells good it's 
smells like strawberry Kool-Aid. All right, so the ultimate test, tasting it. And I'm weird about flavors, so. Okay, why did you stay on there? You weren't supposed to stay. You were supposed to stay up there. Okay. I don't want that to hit me in the nose. It's only eight ounces. I can do it, right? Maybe it'll be really good. Oh, it tastes so salty. It tastes so salty. But it doesn't taste terrible. If this helps me to stay hydrated, I could do this once or twice a day. But it's so salty. The strawberry part's good. But I am really like, what's the word? Sensitive to salty things. I can taste something when it's salty faster. Like I can taste the salt and stuff faster than Jeff and Noah can. But it's not terrible. So I'm gonna drink it for my health. I don't know if it's really that healthy or not. Um, but if it will help me to not be dehydrated, if it will help build my electrolytes, I'm for it. Cause it's not gross. It's just salty to me. And I know some people can't have salt, but you know, not a lot of it. Maybe you could do it without the salt and just do the citric acid. I don't know what part gives you the um, most of the electrolytes. I don't know. But you know, if you think about it, Gatorade and Powerade, they taste salty too. And if you're hot, and you've been working, something like this would be really good. So what I think I'm gonna do is make me up a bottle of this whenever we go down there and just sip on it all day. Cause it doesn't taste terrible. I'm gonna finish this one today, clean up this mess. I don't know what else I'm doing today. Maybe I'll show y'all what we get from Bucks, which I still can't remember what it was and what we get from Lowe's but this is probably going to be kind of a shorter video today because I just don't have, at this point in time, I don't have much I'm going to be doing that's going to be sharing because I want to get ahead of my filming for my planner videos because Jeff is going to be home for the whole week of the first week of July. So, um, because they do the shutdown in July and December and he's got like vacation time which is fabulous because I love it whenever he's home. I wish he could be home all the time. Never have to go to work. Um, so I don't really know. I want to get ahead on that and today I can actually do that. Whereas next week I don't know how much time I'm going to have to do that kind of thing. But I'm going to drink this. I'll leave the recipe down below. It does not taste bad. I will have Noah taste it later and Jeff if he wants to but yeah I could take me a couple of these and have it in the cooler and I think it'd be fine and I'm kind of glad I added that ice even though it was more than the eight ounces you know it made it more than the eight ounces there I'm glad I added that ice because I think I needed a little bit more water down <laughs> I'll be back Hey guys, I was just doing the dishes, the hand wash, well all the dishes. I emptied the dishwasher, reloaded what needed to be put in there, and I was doing the hand wash stuff. And I remember that I told you guys I was going to tell you how this was working out. I've done this before, so I knew it would work. Um, if you guys remember, I accidentally broke my plant. And this was a few weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. And this is how much root that it has 
Now, this is the type, I can't remember the name of the plant, plant, but this is the type, you can just let it grow in water. It's even got a new leaf on it. Look at that baby leaf. Anyway, you could just let it grow in water, but I always put it in soil. So, I'm going to let it keep going for a little bit in this because I want to decide, or haven't decided, what I'm going to put it in. And I'm thinking about repotting my biggest one into a bigger pot and then putting this one in there. So, we shall see. But it's fine. Look at it. It's so cute. I love plants. Okay, so I'm putting my hair back. Well, I had already put some of it back earlier, but I'm putting my hair back so that I can fix our um, supper for tonight, which you guys know is just some of the grilled chicken from last night, and um, a, it's a salad with that on top. The salads are going to be big. Don't freak out. This is our supper, and Jeff and Noah's salad, they're big, but super size, because that's what they're having for supper. It's just mostly vegetables anyway. And this is what's left of the cake. There was a lot more of this cake here whenever Jeff and I left. But anyway, it must have been good, huh? Uh, we did go to uh, Bucks and we went to Lowe's. I got with, what? At Bucks, we bought some sandpaper. We bought the whole saw kit. That's what I couldn't remember what we needed. We bought that and we bought some concrete because we needed the concrete for fixing the floor here because, okay, years ago, before we ever bought the house, the house had become unlevel or whatever. They jacked the house back up. They made it all level. They did all that stuff like they should have. But instead of repairing the floor on the inside, they just covered it up with padding and carpet. They didn't try to fix the inside part, which it'd be fine if you wanted carpet but if you ever want laminate or the you know wood flooring or laminate flooring or uh, the linoleum or anything like that you can't do that so before we sell the house we're going to fix it properly we're not going to do people like that we were doing we're not going to hide big huge cracks now it is jacked up properly there's no cracks in the walls or anything like that but the floor is unlevel. Jeff said he can fix that. So that's gonna be happening. But anyway, Bucks, we got the concrete, the whole saws, and some sandpaper. At Lowe's, we got toilets, and we got molding. I think that's all we got. I'll show y'all all the stuff we got except the concrete tomorrow because we're leaving the concrete here. So I'm about to get our supper going. Um, all I got to do is heat up the chicken. I'm going to put it in the oven. Do y'all want me to heat the chicken in the oven or microwave? It'll probably stay, it'll probably won't be as dry in the oven, but it'll take, we'll do it in the microwave just to make it faster. All right, so I'm making the salads with the chicken on top and I'm making us our supper for tomorrow night because I'm going to make those adult Lunchables that I make with the wraps and the fruit and vegetable and all that stuff. I'm going to make those for us for tomorrow night at the mobile home. So I'm gonna let y'all just watch what we're doing, what I'm doing. They're unloading something. They're not gonna unload everything though because some of it's gonna stay here or some of it's going to the mobile home <laughs> tomorrow. But I'll show y'all that stuff we got tomorrow, I guess, because I don't feel like taking the camera out there. So let's get down here and get to prepping. I gotta wash my hands because y'all just saw me touch my hair and I am not touching any kind of food after I've touched my hair, even though my hair is supposed to be clean because environmental grossness.
so these are our salads. Jeff ended up with more because he wanted more broccoli and I just ended up not wanting any tomato, but uh, he has broccoli and mushroom and peppers and we don't. And um, so there's mine <laughs> and there's theirs. So we're gonna eat and then I'm gonna finish up what I had started with the um, our lunch for tomorrow. I've got everything but the wraps in the little containers. So I'll be back. Okay, so we got this bowl of mandarins. They've been here for a couple weeks. And um, it seems like around here, if I don't peel them, nobody eats them. So I'm going to go ahead and peel them all. And whatever we eat over the weekend, we eat. Whatever we don't, or whatever we eat while we're at the mobile home. What am I saying? We're going to take them with us tomorrow. And whatever gets eaten will get eaten. And whatever doesn't will get eaten the first of the week, I guess. Because I can guarantee if I sit these in the refrigerator tonight, peeled, somebody's going to dig in them. Won't they, Jeffrey? <laughs> you probably eat one right now. I don't know. That was a big salad. Yeah, it was a big salad. You didn't seem to be complaining. Nope. <laughs> but anyway, I washed them because I always washed. I always washed the um, the outside of my fruits and vegetables. I don't care if I'm eating the stuff or not, except bananas. I don't know why I don't wash them. I guess because I never touch the banana with the hand that I'm touching the peeling with. I wonder if we should wash bananas too. I did. I left that thing on there. Oh well, there's another one on another one. But I did. Wa I washed the sticker too. Y'all can see that it's all wet in there. <laughs> so you know I'm telling the truth. Anyways, I, this is the oldest fruit we've got in the house, and I want it to be gone fruit. That one is doing weirdness. I'm not even going to keep it. I don't know. It didn't. It seems dry. You know, mandarins and oranges and stuff get dry if you don't eat them. Well, that one seemed a little dry. It's a little sad. So, Jeffrey, can you tell me why that y'all will eat these up when I peel them? But nobody eats them except me when I don't. <clears throat> Sitting over there grinning. I doubt they heard you. They might have. I don't know. Don't know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. You're crazy. I'm crazy. Thanks. I appreciate that so much for you finally, you know, agreeing with me. <laughs> I'm not getting all the stuff off because I'm not worried about that. They can do some of the work. Yeah, he'll eat it too. It's gross to me. And of course, I'll eat some of these too. He's getting me the tortilla shell so I can make the wraps. So you want ham and no wants turkey? Or do you want turkey and ham? Or what do you want? What kind of cheese do you want, sir? Pepper Jack. Pepper Jack. What if, oh, we didn't get Pepper Jack sliced. What if we don't have any more? Well, whatever. I'm going to need the things back out. Right now? Um, as soon as I get done with this other mandarin, I'm going to start making those after I clean up my little mess. We put the um, little bowls that we put up. I put the fruit and vegetables in the refrigerator while we were eating. One more and I'll be done. Why do they do that where there's hardly any in there? Like, it seems like 
there dry it's drying up that's what it's doing okay ta-da here you go here's your bowl of stuff you're gonna eat it okay i'm gonna wash my hands you know i didn't take not one picture of the supper i just made <laughs> i'll put this in the refrigerator and they'll eat them now since you're standing there so What you beeping? A beeper. You're a beeper? There's only two left. Oh no, they're not coming apart. Because they're not coming apart? You got that one? It's just easier to take them apart once you get them out. Right. For some reason, I thought that the door was open on the refrigerator. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Do you want all three of these pieces since there's only two or three left? Or do you want to give one to Noah or what? I think three of them, it don't matter. I don't usually put three. Do you want three? I'll just give one to Noah. He likes Pepper Jack. He likes Munster. He likes Havarti. He likes all the kinds of cheeses. This is not enough ham for you, sir. Okay, so whenever I make these, I put a pretty good bit of ham on because this is the only protein. And this is the supper. This is the only meal. So I put like six slices. Did you open the ham? Or do you want the turkey on there too? Make up my mind, sir. Do you want ham or turkey? Okay, ham. Ham. Which this ham is thinner, so I might have to put more. It's honey ham. It came from Aldi. It's thinner, but it's the same size. We'll just put one more right there. Be all right. There's the Jeffries. Do that for Noah's. Wow. Every week when I do this, I end up with so much garbage. <laughs> okay, that'll work. Oh, he wants turkey. He does not like ham that much. He will eat it, but he does not prefer it. Okay, I'm just going to put the rest of this turkey on here. Because, how much is here though, before I decide to do that? Why am I talking through this? I don't normally. Oh well, y'all just get to hear me talk. So there's, I usually put six. Oh well, there's only seven pieces. Okay. It'll be all right. This is freezing my hands, y'all. Why is it so cold? There's Noah's. Ooh, there's a fat one. All right. Slice it in half. I do it on an angle so it'll fit in that little doodad better so this is oh dear whose is that oh this is Noah's because Noah's has a little bit chunkier pieces of cheese and y'all we just bought those cucumbers and now they're all gone can you say we don't need our fruits and vegetables all right this is Jeff's he wanted some broccoli and he always wants peppers oh dear hold on pick up the cheese i'll put it back in i hear puppy dogs
Okay. I didn't need the other turkey yet. But I did use all the other. You sure didn't get the turkey out, I did. Hey, my, my, my tortilla is smaller than what the other ones were. That's not fair. No, it doesn't matter. I don't care. I like the cheese from Aldi, but I don't like their packaging very much. Sometimes I put it in a Ziploc bag anyway, even though you're not supposed to have to because I'm afraid it's gonna like come open in the refrigerator. But I like their cheese and I like their prices. Excuse me, ma'am, you're not supposed to be in here. You're not getting any of this stuff because you get sick if you eat this. We used to give our dogs like a piece of ham or something, but now we can't do it anymore. They get sick, they'll, it'll be, It'll be a mess. I guess because they're older. I don't know. Alright. Close that up. Now tomorrow night we're going to be eating at home. We're going to eat um, pizza that we bought from Aldi last week that we didn't eat yet. So, that's what we're going to have tomorrow night. On, no, 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 no. Sunday night. So, I already know what we're having tomorrow night and Sunday night. It's really easy. All right, so there that is. I'll wash my hands again. Really, whenever I'm washing my hands, when I'm doing something like this, it's just a soapy rinse. And then I put this in the dishwasher until I, um, not the dishwasher, I put it in the washing machine after I get done and I get a new one because now if I'm doing raw meat, I scrub my hands, but if I'm doing something like ham or something like that in the kitchen when I'm still cooking, I just do a soapy rinse really, that's all it is. So, let's see, this is the only other thing needs to go in the refrigerator and I'm gonna put this up here and these can go in here and Jeff is filling up the other refrigerator with I, with water so I'm gonna go because my battery's dying. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really don't even know what I did other than I made an electric li electrolyte drink. I talked a lot and I made some suppers. So <laughs> I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out with me today. If you don't mind, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. If you have a prayer request, you can leave that as well. If you don't wanna put it in public, you can always send me an email. My email is in the description box. Check out my other channel, it's there too. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet.